एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम You might have seen the soldering process in the nearby workshop. The major question that the students ask is in the industrial practice which involves the large scale production of the IC chips would it be the similar soldering process or is there anything different because the production volume is large. So in this part of the video we will be learning about the detailed concepts of the soldering process. Hello everyone, I am Anmol Bhatia and welcome to S Chand Academy. In this part of the video we will be learning about the soldering process. This is the second part of the video. If you haven't watched the first part of the video, you can click the link in the description box. Hello everyone. I am Anmol Bhatia and welcome to S Chand Academy for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below we will be learning about the soldering process in this part of the video and this topic is the part of the manufacturing practices course so let us understand the basic concept behind the soldering process in the soldering process what happens we can join the similar or the dissimilar metals but the basic uh, thing uh, in case of soldering is that the melting of the filler wire is there but the this melting is generally below the 450 degree celsius that means the filler wire that we are using is having the melting temperature of less than 450 degree celsius and the concept is similar as compared to brazing in this concept we have the filler material that enters into the joint with the help of the capillary action so majorly we have the involvement of the capillary action here now let us learn the basic uh, procedure of the soldering process in the basic procedure of the soldering process we have the first step in which we clean the joint so in order to clean the joint we have the solvent cleaning procedure in which may we may use a solvent to clean the surface of the joint that we want to produce then we can go for acid pickling or we can go with the mechanical cleaning some mechanical device is used to clean the surface of the joint the second thing is application of the flux on the surface the flux is there and why do we apply flux on the surface because we want to remove the oxide layer from the joint surface and we want we we don't want this filler material to uh, be oxidized so rather we want that filler material to be used in the process so for that we apply that filler material in between the joint the forms of flux are it can be used in a powder form it can be used in a paste form it can be used in the liquid or the solid form so this soldering is is majorly done when this filler or when this flux is in the liquid state or in the liquid form so what we have seen here we have seen the process of cleaning and then the flux part why do we apply flux here in order to uh, remove the oxides from the joint surface and ultimately it prevents the filler material from oxidizing and these are some variety of the fluxes that we can use in the soldering process then the next step in the soldering process is heating the joint so we majorly heat the joint here in order uh, to bring that filler material to the liquidous temperature or we melt that filler material so that it comes into the liquidous temperature and then it flows inside the gap which is there in between the workpiece and the material that is required to be joined so majorly the filler material that we use in this situation is lead and tin this is the most common uh, filler material that we use and in order to improve the mechanical properties and the temperature resistance the solders are 
एडेड टू द अदर अलॉइंग एलिमेंट्स लाइक जिंक और कैडमियम और सिल्वर सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट द फिलर मटेरियल कैन बी अ लेड और अ टिन कॉम्बिनेशन विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड टू इम्प्रूव द मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज और द टेम्परेचर रेजिस्टेंस द सोल्डर पार्ट इज जनरली एडेड टू द अलॉइंग मटेरियल लाइक जिंक और कैडमियम और सिल्वर एंड लास्टली वॉट हैपन्स वी अप्लाई दैट फिलर मटीरियल इन बिटवीन द गैप सो दैट इट फ्लोज इन द जॉइंट एंड दैट जॉइंट the in between that joint gap and ultimately because of the capillary action the joint is created and that particular joint is created uh, with the help of that filler material because the filler material goes in, in into that gap on solidification the filler material uh, solidifies uh, basically and then it leads to the formation of the uh, joint so this is the basic process of the soldering uh, part now we have certain methods which are there uh, as a part of the soldering is concerned so number 1 number 1 method is the soldering iron number 2 is the dip soldering and number 3 is the wave soldering so let's understand these processes one by one so coming to the soldering iron soldering iron is basically a copper rod and that is having a thin tip for soldering the heat is basically supplied by the solder iron and that uses the heat to apply the solder also so here the soldering iron is basically a copper rod which has a thin tip and heat is being supplied with the help of the solder iron and also the solder iron is capable to um, provide the the solder alloy which is used during the process this soldering iron can be heated with the help of the furnace or it can be heated with the help of electrical resistance in general practice we use this electrical resistance in order to heat that soldering iron or we can also use the furnace to heat the surface of the soldering iron the video that you are seeing on the screen is the case of soldering iron in which you can see the solder iron which is heated up and that heating is because of the electrical resistance the flux is being applied on the surface of soldering iron and that flux flows in between the gap so that a joint is created now we uh, come to the second category of the soldering which is the dip soldering as the name suggest it uh, is related to dipping of the component inside something and what is that something we'll learn now here in you have a large amount of solder which is melted inside the tank and that tank is a closed tank so you have a tank which is having a melted solder inside now the parts that are required to be soldered are cleaned first and then it is dipped in a flux bath initially so the part that you have is to be cleaned initially and that is dipped inside the fluxed bath as per the requirement and then it is being dipped in the molten solder pool and then it is lifted so what happens you have a board which is maybe a pc board in that pc board you fit in the components and you apply the flux layer on the surface and what happens you dip in the material over the uh, molten pool of the solder and ultimately after dipping it would result in the creation of a joint so in industrial practice what happens the solder that you have seen in the previous case may not work because of the large volume production this category of dip soldering may work in that particular situation now the next category is the wave solder in in case of the wave solder a wave is basically generated inside the tank and in that wave the solder comes up and makes the necessary joint so there is a formation of wave on the surface and here the solder comes up and generally makes a particular joint this is normally a continuous process wherein the pcbs are continuously fed moving on the top of the solder tank so there is a so there is a solder tank on the solder tank there is a continuous feeding of the pcbs 
and when the PCB moves uh, above the solder tank, a wave is being created and because of the creation of the wave, the joint is created and this particular thing is being used for mass production. So in the initial part of the video, I have asked one question that for mass production, what kind of process is used? So for mass production, we use a wave soldering process and that the that wave soldering process is somewhat different to the torch soldering process. The video that you are seeing on the screen is related to the wave soldering procedure. In this procedure, you can see that a flux layer is being applied on the surface of the, the, the joint which is being created and ultimately that applied flux layer surface is fed onto the surface of the, the, the table on which this solder is being uh, there and then the solder creates a wave on the surface and it, it generally moves uh, around the surface and the major joint is being created. So that process is called as the wave soldering process. Now you have learned about the soldering processes in detail. Now let us have a clarity on what is the basic difference between brazing and soldering process. So brazing as I have told you that it is a kind of a weak joint and it is not meant to bear the loads. It is generally used to make the electrical contacts and brazing is a stronger joint as compared to the soldered joints and this brazed joints are generally uh, used to bear the load to some extent. The temperature requirement, uh, if the temperature requirement is up to 450 degrees Celsius in case of the soldering joint or the soldered joints and you have the temperature range above this, maybe it can go to the range of 600 degrees Celsius in case of the braced joints. Heating of the workpiece is not required here, but heating of the workpiece is required, but below the melting point. Then the next thing is the fourth one in which you have no change in the melting properties which are there in case of the joining and in case of brazing the melting the mechanical properties may change but that change is almost negligible. The cost involved and the skill requirement is very low in case of soldering but the cost involved and the skill requirement is more if I compare it with the soldering process. In case of soldering, there is no requirement of heat treatment, but here also there is no heat treatment which is required after soldering. The preheating of the workpiece is generally good in order to make a good quality joint, but here in case of brazing, preheating is generally desirable to make the stronger joint. So it is not necessary that we uh, preheat the joints. With this, we come to the end of the second part of the video wherein we learnt about the soldering process, the different varieties of the soldering process and also we compared brazing process with the soldering process. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.